There are two types of physical quantity, the base quantities and the derived quantities. And we also learned that uh, base quantity is a quantity that cannot be defined in any other physical quantities. Uh, that is what we learned before. Eh? So now in this slide, let's continue with derived quantities. By definition, derived quantities are the quantities which derived from the base quantities through multiplications or divisions. Now let's see this example. Speed is equal to distance over time. So is distance a base quantity or derived quantity? Is a uh, base quantities, uh, okay? Because distance actually is a uh, is a uh, measures of length, okay? Measures of length and uh, length is a base quantity, uh, base quantity. Then how about time? Is time a base quantities or derived quantities? It's a uh, base quantities as well. Okay, now both distance and times are base quantities, eh? and speed, speed is equal to distance over time. So we say speed is derived from distance and times, eh? and for the quantity which derive from base quantities, we call this a derived quantities. So what is derived quantities? Derived quantities are the quantity which derived from what? From base quantity. So distance and times are the base quantity. Speed derived from distance and time, and therefore speed is called the derived quantities. Derived unit, the unit of uh, derived quantities and the uh, unit of a constant in an equation can be determined from the equations. So what does this mean? Eh? Let's see this example. Uh, just now we have learned that speed equal to distance over time, right? So can you tell me what's the units of distance? Yes, meter, right? Okay, and how about times? What's the unit of times? So the SI units for time is seconds. So therefore, the unit of speed is equal to meter over seconds. So which is equal to meter per seconds uh, or you can also write this as uh, ms to the power of negative one eh? so this is the units of speed so this is how we find the unit of a derived quantities uh, or the derived units so first uh, we write the equations okay so we write the equations and then uh, and then we list down the unit of the base quantities in the equations Okay, and then uh, we determine the units of the derived quantities from the equations. Okay, now let's see this example. Find the derived units of the following quantities, A, velocity. Uh, first of all, let's check the list of the derived quantities that we need to know to see uh, the equations for velocity. Okay, now velocity is here, and uh, velocity is equal to displacement over time. Eh? Displacement over time. Okay, so let's write down the equation. Velocity equal to displacement over time. Uh, and then the unit of velocity yeah okay now what is the unit of displacement displacement actually is a measure of length and therefore the unit is meter okay so let's write here meter and the unit of time is seconds so it's second and therefore the units of velocity is meter per seconds okay or uh, you can write it as uh, ms to the power of negative one so this is the unit of velocity yeah? so this is how we find the unit of a uh, derived quantities okay now let's see question B yeah? accelerations acceleration so what is the equation for acceleration let's check the list okay now acceleration is here and acceleration is equal to velocity change divided by time huh? first of all let's write down the equation
So acceleration equal to velocity change divided by time and the unit of accelerations. Now, first of all, what is the unit of velocity change? Okay, now just now we have learned that uh, the unit of velocity is meter per second and the units of time is uh, second. Therefore, the units of acceleration is equal to meter per second divided by second. Uh, this will be equal to ms to the power of negative 2. So the unit of acceleration is meter per second per second or uh, meter per second to the power of negative 2. So we read this as meter per second per second. Okay, you can also read this as meter per second square. Meter per second square. Uh, for density, uh, density, the formula is uh, density equal to mass over volume. Eh? And the unit is uh, kg per meter cube. Force, uh, force equal to mass multiplied by acceleration, and the unit is a kg meter uh, per second square. And for work, work equal to force multiplied by distance, and the unit is kg meter square per second square. And charge equal to current multiplied by time, and the unit is ampere second. So use this uh, formula to find the unit and then check your answer to see whether you get a correct answer or not. Example 10. The moment inertia I of a disk is given by the following equation. I equal to half mR square, where m is the mass of the disk and r is the radius. Find the unit of moment inertia. Just now, we have learned that we can find the unit of a derived quantity from its equations. So first of all, let's list down the equation. I equal to half mR squared. Now, what's the units of m? m is the mass of the disk. The unit of mass is kg. Then how about r? How about r? What's the unit of r? Radius is actually length, and the unit for length is meter. Uh, this 1 over 2 is the coefficient, and it has no unit. Eh? There's no unit, so we can ignore it. So therefore, the unit of I is equal to kg multiplied by meter and then square. And the answer is uh, kg m square so this is the unit for moment inertia example 11 the relationship of the mass of a metal plate with its area is given by the equation mass equal to k multiplied by area uh, where k is a constant what is the unit of k so these questions would like us to find the unit of constants uh, again we can find the unit of constants from the equations First of all, let's list down the equations. So the equation is equal to, uh, so the equation is mass equal to K multiplied by area. And uh, what we want to find is the unit of K. So let's rewrite the equations. K equal to mass over area what I do is uh, I move these uh, areas to another side okay so mass divided by area so what's the units of mass the unit of mass is kg yeah? kg and uh, what's the units of area the unit of area is m square okay so therefore the unit of k is equal to kg divided by m square. Uh, this is equal to kg per m square, or you can write this as kg m to the power of negative 2. Okay, so this is the unit of k. Uh, this example shows how to find the unit of a constant.